Hi, what's up everyone? I've not uploaded a video now for two to three weeks because we had a small operation uh, a week or so ago and I needed to rest. So sorry about that, but we are back. I've been streaming this week and we're now back to creating some video content today. A few people in stream are asking about this league, the current event. So we've got the two bridges league that is currently on so i thought i'd just cover this in today's video i'm gonna go over the league for new people how it works and then show you the build they use and put in some times so you get this backpack trophy is the main reward for this league if we click into it and go to event details so open there we go you can then see the mission so we've got roosevelt island to do space administration hq lincoln memorial wall street and uh we got to basically complete these in the times that they give us. So not really, really easy. Like 18 minutes for Roosevelt Island should be fine. Uh, Space Administration HQ wants us to do it in 14 minutes. Lincoln Memorial wants us to do it in 12 minutes. And then Wall Street on Challenging wants us to do it in 21 minutes. It should not be a problem at all. We should get 40 stars from this. Now, if you knew to the game and you want to get all the stars this actually works across the two weeks so we're on week one right now you only really need to do 30 stars per week so we could do just three missions if we wanted to now come back next week after the reset do the same three missions again we get all 60 stars to get all the rewards here which is a patch some caches all the way to this backpack trophy which looks really really cool so you can do it across the two weeks if you didn't know that if you want to do it in one week though you're watching this like on the second week you are gonna to have to do everything to get the 60 stars which includes true sons disoriented and riker's headshot kills they're the additional bits i know you can't see because of the webcam but uh they're there you can see it on your own screen so we're gonna do this today that people are asking in stream what build i use for these speed runs now i don't really take it very serious or compete with anybody um but if you want to there's some very like good builds to use for speed runs uh hunter's fury is what most people use as well as answering stream the other night but the build we're going to use today is just a standard striker build that should get us through all four of these missions get us some good times i'm not going to use the arabora so i'll switch that out now we've got the striker mask striker backpack gloves and chest they've all got crit damage on crit damage mods on we've got the grupo holster you can have cheska if you want i have that on because i normally run with someone with a coyotes mask and a squad as we're playing solo today cheska will probably be better again crit chance crit damage and the fox's prayer knee pads i'm gonna instead do of the arabora Boris, we're gonna give the chatterbox a go. So I'm gonna go for the chatterbox on. I actually had a terrible chatterbox in my stash, so I had to re-roll it anyway for detox. Just got that, not looking too bad. The reason I use a chatterbox, especially for speedruns, I know it's not like the hardest hitting SMG or anything like that, but it just works very, very well with the talents. And if you can get it to proc at the right time, you can just clear it out spawn points very very quickly so that's the build we'll be using for each of these missions i hope i'll let you know as we go if i do change it okay so first on the list was roosevelt island and we've got 18 minutes i think to do this on hard more than enough time so we go let's get going we should have this done i'm gonna guess taking down the outcast stronghold of 13 minutes Shaw, which is still slow serious damage to the faction See, Roosevelt's quite open as well, isn't it? So Chatterbox might not have been the best choice for this mission. I don't know. Ideally, we want to be getting spawns with it. Where's he? I was going to be running across. Vital signs critical. So nearly dead there. Good thing about like using Hunter's Fury, as we mentioned at the start as well, is some like self-healing on that. Where Striker doesn't have it, you can get your armor on kill with the gunner specialization. I think the Hunter's Fury gear set gives you bonus armor and stuff too. Striker's still fine. I would recommend Hunter's Fury if you've got a build on your character though. I recently deleted mine for whatever reason. Oh, I hit reload and have one available. There we go. This was great about the char box, and if you can get spawns with that rate of fire, you just clear them so so quick. Shut your damn mouth before I shut it for you. Both of you shut up. The hardest thing I find while using a chatterbox is that I'm so used to just like 
reloading. The amount of times I just automatically reload and lose this fire rate, it's horrible. Someone stop behind us, aren't they? He's climbed over. Where's he at? Yeah. Hopefully we can catch the back spawn here. Depends which side. Sometimes it spawns on the left. Sometimes it spawns on the right. Ah, oh, it's too far away to get the rate of fire. Okay, we got him here. Still one more, there he is. These guys are insane. Right, we can catch this spawn down here. I think we get another one. No, we're done. There's the other one. Someone behind me. Yeah, I can't hear them. Don't put me on fire if I go through that, and I think someone's around the corner. There he is. Yep, there we go. Went too soon. Serious trauma detected. Okay, time's looking good. Five minutes. About six minutes gone. Plenty of time to do this. Eighteen minutes. I've been playing this on Legendary so much recently, I forgot about this explosive. There we go. Agent in need of Just lost 10, 15 seconds there. We have a name boss now, I think, don't we? One of the sledgehammer guys. And we have an exploder right here. So I hit reload just to get that rate of fire off them all. Nearly died doing it. Again, this is where Hunter's Fury is just going to be so much better for this sort of activity. Self healing, it helps a lot. Oh, I'm going, I'm going down. Oh! How have we not got there? We go. I was going to say, how have we not gone down? Mm. Losing my boundaries here. I've got like so much red on the radar. Get him. Then get him. Boss has on about. Still someone else back here? What? 
proper gopher. Where's he at? We lost so much time there. Good to show you just a casual run, though, how easy it is, I guess, for people that are asking in the stream. I'll be in the times. Be very casual. You can have downs. They give you so much time. There's the odd mission, though, they do sometimes throw in on these league events that are a little bit difficult. Like Manning National Zoo being one of them. I think all these this week are quite easy, especially Roosevelt Island. 18 minutes is just silly. This is the second to last area now. We've got nine minutes left. We could go downstairs and make a cup of tea if we wanted to. Not that I need to because we've already got one prepped. I hit reload, didn't I? I don't think I had a rate. Uh -oh. I don't want to go down, actually. I haven't got my hive. So let's take our time a little bit. You can't see. 100% Hunter's Fury. I'm half debating just to go and craft some pieces for the next few runs. Because we're nearly dead quite a lot. Your head again, please. Oh, hello. How is that not killing? What's going on with that boat? Hasn't launched yet. Trying to get him off there. This SMG is going to be so useless at this range. There we go. Get a nice rate of fire increase off these guys. No, I can't even too far away. Get a med pack to them. A little bit of one. We're done. Oh no, we got to destroy the boat on this, haven't we? <laughs> I'm forgetting how to do this mission. But look at that. Look how casual that was. Less than 13 minutes, pretty much. Um, let's charge. There we go. As soon as that blows up, we're done. 10 stars out of 10. Super, super casual. I am going to throw together a quick Hunter Fury build though because I underestimated that little bit of survivability it gives you. This enables you to face tank much easier. The outcasts are going to be much less of a problem than before. You know, Roosevelt to them was horrific. is what they did. done. Let's see if it's updated the leaderboard. We're not setting no world record by any means. But very easy 10 points on the board there for Roosevelt. Done. Smashed it. I never can remember how to look at the leaderboard. We'll be like in the thousands. 33,682. That's 12 minute 53. That's what we must have done. So, again, 
We're not going for any world records in this video. We just want to get to 10 stars and show you how easy it is, even with the wrong build. I'm going to go and make Hunter's Fury build. So I've just thrown this together for the rest of these speedruns. We brought Hunter's Fury in, and I thought, why not make it a Striker's Fury build? Because as good as like Apex Predator is for four piece Hunter's Fury, not that fussed about that. We just want a bit of survivability judging by that last run. So we're getting the SMG damage with this. We're getting the armor on kill, health on kill. That should do really. I'm going to put the gunner specialization on to get that armor on kill buffed up a little bit more. Still using the chatter box and still three piece strike everything crit damage. We'll see how this performs. And we'll take it straight to Space Administration HQ. So again, it's another hard one. I think we've got 14 minutes to do this one. Which... I think this will take longer than Roosevelt. We'll see. Well, 13 minutes, I think we did that. Hopefully with the additional survivability now, we will be... Good with all this armor on kill. We won't be going down. The only bad way about running this uh, new build, Striker's Fury, like this, is um, don't really want the Striker chest. I'd rather have had the Striker backpack, but the Ninja Bike backpack is what makes it possible. So we're kind of stuck with it. Definitely not how the speedrunners make their Hunter's Fury builds, by the way. Or we try something different, something fun. Survivability is definitely there now. Get a nice 50% health on kill as well, which is decent since the last tile update. They actually nerfed that, didn't they? Because it used to be 100%, if I'm right. And then they were saying 100% health on kill with all the health changes was just going to be silly OP. So they had to reduce it to 50%. Still want to put a proper build together around Hunter's Fury and, like, survivability. The armor and health. I'm so bad with this mission. I hardly ever do it, so I don't know 100% where all the... Where I should be aiming for the spawns. And we've got that section on the roof as well. Where we've got to realign all of the satellites. I love the chat That's box. Awesome. Nice rate of fire at this point. We don't need to reload because it reloads itself every time we get a kill. It's fun to use. Just got to remember not to hit reload by accident. I used to always do it when interacting with stuff like this as well. It just reload. I'd be like, no. Okay, we'll start with A. We sneak it in without him spotting us. Nah. I think we're currently on 30% armor on kill, I think. We got the 20% off hunters and we got the 10% off gunner. That'll do B. I've sent the coordinates for the dishes through Isaac. It shouldn't take too long to align them. You're still going to have to adjust each dish, but this will speed up the process.
Well, the enemies are just all spread out, and you can't really catch any spawns on this bit because they're spawning while you're aligning the antennas. even get a striker stacks up to like quarter of the way never mind 200 why well, the chest is a bit pointless for this place that what we're doing chest is awesome at times am i gonna do it or is he gonna take me down close i'll take it down we're getting this done no it's close though Okay, we best uh, deal with these. I've got you covered. Alright, let's be where we left off. Yes, there we go. Satellites aligned and clear for transmission. Signal is insufficient. So far, so good. Now we just gotta find a transmitter to boost the signal. Not like that took ages. We're six minutes in and we're heading down stairs now. Should easily get it done in the 14, I imagine. This bit's not the fastest though, but we should be able to trap a spawn on this bit. See, we could get a faster fire rate, um, but I don't want to risk losing this one if it doesn't work. So just keep it as it is. Maybe reload on this spawn. We hit this now, and I believe they all spawn out the door in front of us. That's it. We should be able to extract the radio once it's docked. This one here. I thought I had to go and hit another computer after that spawn. I was wrong. What we do, though, is over this way. Short of him. Come on, we've got six minutes. Speedy, speedy. I imagine we're going to miss the spawn point now as well because we're all the way back here. Should be good. Five minutes to get it done. We're about to enter the final area as soon as this speeds up. Alright, four minutes and a half left. Let us interact and go through to the final area. Do we have enough time? Because by the time we start this, we're going to have less than four minutes. I think we're good. Now, the boss is at a bit of a distance, isn't he? I wonder if we can get close to him when he spawns. As the SMG. Three minutes and a half. And we're waiting for this again. <laughs> Come on. This is the most annoying thing about these leagues when you're on missions like this. And you just sat around waiting for stuff to happen. And your time's ticking down. 
Even worse when you're going for records and stuff. Right, we should be good though. Three minutes. By the time we interact. I All think right. we'll try and get close the to the model. boss. I normally sit up here, but with an SMG, that's probably not the best idea. Let's try and get closer to him. Oh, I just reloaded. Did I? I knocked that by accident. There goes a the fire rate. Agent, are you all right? Sounds like you've got company. Well, that's, that's good. Just like that, we're done. There we go. Plenty of time. Just over 12 minutes this one. So it, did, it was quicker than Roosevelt Island. Just. Could, could have done that quicker. We made a load of mistakes on that. Easily doable. It's under two minutes to spare. 10 out of 10 on space administration. We can look at the leaderboard again, but we're not going for any real good times or anything like that. Just casually getting the 10 points. 492 with 8 minutes 18 seconds. That's my old time. So it's not updated yet. But again, we're going to be in the thousands with that. Next up is Lincoln Memorial. I think we've got 11 minutes to do this one in. And this is super quick, this mission. Even casually. You're going to get this done in about 8 or less quite easily. So, yeah. No rush. Nice and simple. Hopefully catch a few more spawn points this time. I know this mission quite well. Spent a lot of time on it. Don't think I would have kept my... Oh, I did keep my rate of fire from the last mission. There we go. Not waste that. Good. Still red. Oh, there it is. Yeah, definitely don't do what I did at the start of the video and come in with strikers for these. You want that. You want that armor on kill, just a bit of survivability for sure. Even though it's just hard. With no self-healing, they, they will get you. When you're face tanking like this. I do love the chatterbox. I've only just recently got this on PC as well. I never had it for the longest time. And um, someone dropped to me last week in a countdown stream a few weeks ago. I got a char box. Like, I'll take it. Might have been a paradise loss, actually. I'm glad to have it back. They're up top, aren't they? And then it's that spawn down there. Where's he at? Oh, oh that's a bush. <laughs> what was all clear. I wonder if we can get through the whole mission without reloading. I'm trying to think where I pretty much get every spawn point, I think. Damn it. The truth says I've turned the memorial so far, so into good. a base. There's an area beneath you with increased... Oh, I was going to lose my buff then. This one, yeah. 
Where's he gone? There he is. Still no reload. I think we're going to do it. All the enemies are just so close together. Makes it easy with the Charbox. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-52. Final area. Less than five minutes in. Last spot, can we do it with our reload? Do it with the little guy. There we go. Oh, it was an inch away. It was so close. One reload. All right, let's get out of here. So close. All right, five minutes and a half for Lincoln Memorial. Easy work, that one. Easy work. I don't know what best on that would be. So all my best times are probably on PlayStation. Let's see if we can catch it before it updates. Nah, 12 minute. 12 minute 18. Wow. Okay. I've even played Lincoln Memorial on PC. 5 minute 30 is our new best one. So last up is Wall Street. All of the New York missions are a little bit longer anyway, but it gives us 21 minutes to get this done, and it is the challenging one as well. So if I remember right, this was a bit tricky. Some people were struggling to get the time. I could be wrong. I'm thinking way back. Uh, but that's challenging. We're ready to go. Got some street trash behind us. We can ignore them. Let's get it done. 21 minutes. I'm going to guess we do this in about 16. 16, 17 will be my guess. And we've lost our rate of fire because of that reload. Was that more out here? Yeah. Let's get that rate of fire back. There we go. That's what we want to keep. That rate of fire. Who else? Where's this guy at? Someone was down as well then, wasn't they? Are we done? Yeah. Get that stockpile agent. Everything you take from them is something they can't send to Keener. Fuckers are in Keener supplies. I don't care what it takes. Take them out. Racing to the stockpile now. Hostiles incoming. Hostiles approaching. Ah, it's contested. What happens if they get that? Does it even matter? I don't know. Hostiles. I'll be Incoming. gutted if I accidentally reload with all this F pressing. Hostiles. Incoming. Hostiles approaching. Oh, no. We should be good to do the last of them. Now we've had the bus. I know F ain't reload when I entrap. I sometimes Hostiles. knock all. Incoming. Hostiles approaching. Probably would just be quicker to let 
them get all of these, right? If it doesn't really matter. Is that them all? Yeah, there we go. So now on Heroic, we get a spawn back up there. I'm not sure if that's the case on challenging. Sort this out. There we go. I'm not sure if we get a spot. I'm guessing we don't. Used to be that guy with the nail gun that came out of there. We already had him. Sounded like it was up. No, it was down. I keep on pressing. What am I doing now? I go to reload and press an E. Wasting the opportunity to get a good fire rate off of them then. Regroup at the APC. Take your time. You don't need to rush this. Where am I having a nail guy on this bit? They changed the spot. I, I really don't remember a nail guy being here. Even on Heroic. Last hit then hurt. Oh, why did I reload? It's automatic. Seen red on the radar, I've seen no enemies. There we go. I'll try and hit these that come out of here for their rate of fire. I think we get a few enemies. Oh, just yeah, that's better. Okay, seven minutes in, and we're up to this bit. I think we're good, very good, because not far from the end now, really. Don't 100 percent know all the spawn points again. I know we have a spawn comes out on this right door. Serious trauma 
contacted. One, pick that out. Thank you. Fight. This way, we're going to be doing it quicker than Roosevelt. Oh, some fire rate if we can get it. There we go. Let's try not to lose this. Give us a bit of a boost on the bosses. There they come. We'll set in here. It's time. The division's reign of terror ends here and now. Did this on solo hardcore not too long ago if you watch the streams and I was quite nervous about this boss fight and it ended up being so easy. go, drag off. There we go, sub 12. Very easy to do. Very easy. 11.44. What's our best on that then? You can catch it before it'll update today's. Eleven, eleven. So, not Far off my other best on there. It's supposed to be in the 2000s. There you go, 1145. And that is 10 out of 10 on Roosevelt, Space Administration, Lincoln Memorial, Wall Street. Puts us at 46 out of 60 stars because we also worked on a little bit of Riker headshots on that. on 6 out of 10 just by doing that. And we got loads of awards. So as I said at the start of the video, now for newbies, you can carry on. And you could do the additional ones to get the 60 stars this week. Or you could just wait for the next reset for week two. You can see one out of two at the top there. That'll be Tuesday. And you can just replay a mission or two to get the 60 stars to get the remainder of your awards. Which is how I do it. It's a better way. But that's it for today's video. Let me know if you got this far. And if you like this sort of video where it's kind of like a live video. Something that could go in a stream. But not long enough for a stream. So we just make a video of it anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe for more content. And until the next one, take care and peace out.